Now if we preview our file in the browser, obviously you can see our buttons are now showing, we have this hover stages and everything. If you click on them, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't obviously applied any JavaScript to it yet. So let's move back to our editor, open our core.js, and first thing we're going to do is do the document ready function, which executes once DOM is ready, and then rate object uh, rate method, and we're going to pass the parameter, which is the class name, the object with the class name uh, of rate. And then if we copy this entire thing, paste it underneath for the reset button, obviously the method will be called reset in this case, and the class name will be reset. Above our uh, uh, DOM ready, we start with var rate object equals two curly brackets semicolon. After this, we start with the URL rate equals and the URL to the rate page will be mod rate.php then url reset sorry rather than equals uh, sign obviously we have to have semicolon here, sorry colon here then we have mod reset.php for the reset one now the first method will be rate so we type rate colon function object as parameter now what we do is object uh, dot life we're looking for the click event, then function e as the event as parameter, semicolon after all this. Uh, let's at the end just type e prevent default. You could also use return false here. We just want the, the standard uh, procedure, the standard uh, behavior of the click event to be prevented here at the end. Basically, do not reload the page, uh, do not put the hash in the URL, and so on. And uh, now we start with the var, this object equals this. Then we go for var, this type equals this object dot has class rate up. If it has class rate up, then the type is up, otherwise is down. Then var, this item equals this object and we're looking for the attribute data hyphen item, which is where we assign the ID of the record to. And then we have var this value equals this object dot children span text. Sorry, not here, uh, like this text. There we go. So basically what we're doing, when we click on the button inside of this, we have another embedded uh, span, obviously, and we take the value, the value basically, which is inside of this uh, span. If it's one, it's going to be two after we return back from the Ajax call, obviously, and so on. So uh, we have the value, the current value, then jQuery dot uh, get JSON we're going to be using here, then rate object dot URL rate, then colon, so, uh, and we go for two curly brackets, we're going to pass two parameters, type as the first one, which will be this type, then comma, next one is item, colon, uh, this item. And after this callback function, with data returned from it, semicolon after that, and now we check if is in a data error, then what we're going to do, it's going to be this object, children span all of them we want html parse integer i mean all of them obviously the one which we've clicked uh, this value uh, 10 as a second parameter to indicate that it's obviously decimal value uh, that we are parsing then it's going to be plus one so we incrementing the value in the button then this object uh, parent and we're looking for the rate wrapper now find all of the elements with the rate and add class rate done rate done and we also want to remove class from all of them called rate so that it's no longer the button it, we no longer have the cursor which shows like a hand where you can click basically so rate done and remove rate uh, rate class. Then this object dot add class active to obviously highlight the button we've just clicked and make it uh, look like like an active button. 
So that's everything inside of our rate um, method. Let's move to the next video and create our reset one.